Perhaps if you wish. Oh, I wish we'd never come. What must he think of me? Was he displeased? What did he say? Oh, nothing of consequence. He inquired after my parents and... Miss Bennett, please allow me to apologise for not receiving it properly just now. You were not leaving. We were, sir. I think we must. I hope you're not displeased with Pemberley. No, not at all. Then you approve of it? Very much. I think there are few who would not approve. But your good opinion is rarely bestowed and therefore more worth the earning. Thank you. Would you do me the honour of introducing me to your friends? Certainly. Mr. and Mrs. Edward Gardner, Mr. Darcy. Mrs. Gardner is my aunt, Mr. Darcy. My sister Jane stayed at their house in Cheapside when she was lately in London. Delighted to make your acquaintance, madam. Delighted, sir. You're staying in Lambton, I hear. Yes, sir. I grew up there as a girl. Delightful village. I remember running from Pemberley to Lambton as a boy almost every day in the horse chestnut season. And there was one very fine tree there, I remember. On the green, by the smithy. The very one. Mr. Gardner, do you care for fishing? Indeed I do, sir, when I get a chance of it. And if you have time, sir, you must come and fish in my trout stream. Or there are carp, tench and pike in the lake here if your bent runs to course fishing. I shall be happy to provide you with rods and tackle, show you the best spots. But let us walk down now. Follow us to the lake, my man will show you. There's a place down there where we used to keep all the mouth on the bank. Is this the ah, proud Darcy you told us of? He is all ease and friendliness, no false dignity at all. I'm as astonished as you are. I can't imagine what has affected this transformation. Can you not? going to say again, sir, how very unexpected your arrival was. If we had known you were to be here, we should not have dreamt of invading your 